So I've just watched two excellent videos based on Avengers Endgame. And I do have a cold, I do apologize, so we'll try and push through this video. But it's a really important point I want to raise. And firstly, Geeks and Gamers, he discusses an article on Hollywood Reporter that points out that points out that some footage was shown at CinemaCon of Avengers Endgame, and it shows Captain Marvel telling all the Avengers that they're going to kill Thanos, and all the other Avengers tell Captain Marvel that they they don't know they can't do it, they've tried and they failed, and then Captain Marvel replies and says, "Well, you didn't kill Thanos because I wasn't present. Now I'm with you." We're now going to kill Thanos. And the other one is this video from John Talks. And this is actually based on a video of mine. So here's reply to my video. And he's actually linked to my video. And John Talks is a really great YouTube, really funny guy. Particularly Captain Marvel. He, he makes popular videos about Captain Marvel. So I'll link to both Geeks and Gamers and to John Talks. And this is the article from The Hollywood Reporter. So I'll link to this also. But what it really points out is three things. Firstly, let's say you have Avengers Endgame. And Captain Marvel, 20 minutes before the end of the movie, she says, right, we're all going to go and kill Thanos. Thanos. That would give away the ending to the movie. So Marvel wouldn't want to do that because that would be quite logical and Marvel much better than that. Point number two is that if Captain Marvel did say okay right we're all going to go and kill Thanos and then Captain Marvel fails that will portray Captain Marvel as a failure which they wouldn't do either. So they wouldn't portray Captain Marvel as somebody who says she's going to do something and then fails unless there was some sort of bigger role. And that brings me on to point three. So in John's video, he discusses this teddy bear that gives away spoilers from Avengers Endgame. It's based on Thanos saying to somebody that they can't control the Infinity Stones and it appears to show that Thanos has lost the gauntlet and the Infinity Stones to somebody. And John points out that another villain, someone who's more powerful, comes along and takes the gauntlet from Thanos. Now that is the most logical outcome because it would add something to the story it would also relieve captain marvel from failing because captain marvel might actually kill thanos or she might be part of the avengers and they go and kill thanos but then unexpectedly out of nowhere a more powerful villain comes along and that would lead into the next movie so beyond avengers endgame marvel still want to create these villains and these avengers that fight against one another so if they kill thanos off they, they need somebody to replace thanos and it needs to be someone more powerful keep building up the importance of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that is the most logical outcome. All the other outcomes just don't really make any sense. The most logical outcome is another villain comes along and Thanos actually is confronted by that villain and the villain takes away the gauntlet and the Infinity Stones from Thanos. And that kind of makes sense because it's Thanos has done all the dirty work. He's got all the Infinity Stones together. He's done all that work and then the more powerful villain will come along and basically steal the work that Thanos has done that is a quite a good logical storyline for marvel to follow and that villain is too powerful for captain marvel and the avengers to kill in endgame and that then leads on to future movies and this mystery of who this villain is is also supported by this so on imdb there's two characters there's a 70s or a 1970s car girl and a 1970s scientist stroke lab worker so the 1970s features in avengers endgame very briefly because there's only two characters so something happens in the 1970s and that could be the creation of the next villain now i've tried looking into this and i can't really find anything def definitive if you've heard anything of this if you know of any villains from the marvel universe that were created in the 1970s leave your comments below but for me it seems like this is what both Geeks and Gamers and John Talks are pointing towards. They're pointing towards a villain who's introduced into Avengers Endgame, who's more powerful than Thanos, and then leads on to the next movies. So yes, Captain Marvel and the Avengers may kill Thanos, but that isn't the end, and that certainly won't be the end. But also, Thanos, I would suggest, does kill some of the Avengers. Perhaps even Captain America dies in the battle against Thanos because Captain America we know the actress said that he no longer wants he no longer wants to be part of the Marvel Universe and also perhaps some of the other characters like Iron Man or the Incredible Hulk die off and get killed by Thanos but then then another villain comes along or perhaps even this more powerful villain kills off some of the events so if you have any thoughts on this leave your comments below if you completely disagree with what I'm saying again leave your comments below but for me from what both Geeks and Gamers are saying, from what John's saying, all the evidence seems to point towards a new villain coming in and taking over the Infinity from Thanos. So again, leave your comments below and also please like and subscribe to this channel because we'll be giving daily updates on Avengers Endgame up until the date it's released. So subscribe and also leave your comments below.